This is a PowerWorks podcast short with Glenn Power and me, James Pikeway. Ford F-150 saw an article that's suggesting inside EVs is where I pulled this from, suggesting that the Ford F-150 Lightning includes a free Tesla charging adapter. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. What's Ford, what's Ford getting at here? And they, they think, well, maybe they're, you know, they're trying to cozy up to, to Elon and, and gang. And uh, who knows? Well, well, I mean, what are they doing there? So you can charge your Tesla from the Ford or you yeah, can charge your yeah, Ford yeah. at a Tesla charger? So you, can, you can charge your, your Tesla from the Ford, you know, the, and the, the Lightning has that whole charging bay in the back. Yeah. So you could charge a Tesla from it. I mean, they're already, they're already, they're already selling them with that. Hey, if you're, you live in a danger zone, you want to own one of these. Yeah, yeah. They were people powering the houses off yeah. them in the US when they had the power cuts recently, yeah. right? So, you know, who knows if this is for real, but it was an interesting little, someone saw one of these. So it's like, hmm, hmm, interesting. Yeah. I think there's, there's a big Ford of working with somebody on the, at the minute on the new solid state batteries. Yes. And that's, that's a big one. You know, the, 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 the gang who, who crack that. Yeah. That, you know, and, and I, I liken it to the VHS beta thing where, you know, everyone knows beta was better. Sony Betamax was the format, but VHS got licensed. Yeah. And yeah, it got made by one company. They licensed it to everyone. And that's what that became adopted as a standard. So I, I think when the consortium figures out the solid, solid state batteries, they're going to yeah, win. Yeah, well, you've got the, I mean, their, their initial, the, 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 their initial battery was twice the size of the one they've now yeah. already got to. It was yeah. 10 layers. Yeah. Now it's 20 and it's half the size. Yeah, yeah. And it was two amp hours and now it's 20 amp hours. Yeah. So it was a massive step Can in a imagine? couple of years. Yeah, it's going to be great. So it's, there will obviously be a limit to that. You know, we've not, we've not necessarily been back to the moon yet, so I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. So there are always <laughs> limits, but this is one of those things that will yeah. will have to go forward because batteries have to be small they have to be light to be efficient and they have to also be durable to fast charge and it, it would be nice if while they're figuring this out for the rest of us who still have you know liquid batteries in our internal combustion <laughs> engine cars that they'd figure that out too no chance i know i know no chance i i know i, I just don't get it i know everyone's figuring out how to get these electric cars to run Let's do some little battery technology in the old school cars. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> twelve volt batteries and twelve volt systems. Even even an EV has a twelve volt battery on it. Yeah, go fix twelve volt system and yeah. and everyone sort of that that twelve volt DC battery is something that we'll we'll struggle to to step away from. Yeah. There's, there's going to be no there's no way of stepping away from that for a long long time. Yeah, it's it's sad. It's very well. Sad. It's it's going to be a matter of having a you'd have to have a generator, so an alternator, yeah. that would be powered by <laughs> the actual battery to then See, replace the battery. F- someone's got to figure out this whole it's ecosystem. It's an extra moving part, that's There's, the thing. need this whole ecosystem worked on. Like, come on, people. I, I mean, I, I, I know I've got 11 months, I'm going to need a battery. So, I mean, I've already got it on the calendar. It's like, I, I'm... <laughs> well, you know, there's no... There's no, there's no... A guy called me this morning with his Dodge Charger and he's not fit about it. He said, I think the battery's gone. Well, it was only three and a half years ago that I fitted one. I was like, mate, <laughs> you need to, you need to like write to the newspaper. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's I need like a medal. record over here. <laughs> yeah. So, what kind of well. battery did you have three, in there? I know. Yeah, three and a half years. That's what I want to know. What kind of batteries yeah. are you using? One of the other problems with with batteries now, when people's batteries fail, a lot of cars have LED screens right. that will still light up because they only yeah. use five volts, but you need twelve volts to start a starter motor. Yeah. So they're like, well, it can't be the battery because all the powers and the electrics are working. Well, they have five volt systems. Everything's five volt control unit. Yeah. So even the even to the point of everything lighting up, <laughs> central locking will still work, but your car won't stop. It's when my horn was going off. Yeah, that was, oh, that's never good. That was the worst. Yeah. <laughs> that's never good. Four thirty in the morning, <laughs> battery's dead, but the horn's working. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> changed. Everyone favorite, knows friend. it. <laughs> Someone yesterday, one of these batteries or us guys, I don't know what company it was. I I didn't want to get too close, but he was on a motorcycle. And the reason it caught my attention is because he had these big saddlebags. So clearly yeah. he could go out and, and he had a, he had a tester and he had a yeah. charger unit there. But so he, he's carrying two batteries with him or one, you know, but 
you know, obviously he's getting sent out and he's picking up the battery somewhere. But I thought, man, that's that cannot be very efficient because no. he's always got to run to a place to get one. Yeah, I, I don't like that. The guys that do it in the vans obviously can keep stock of regular yeah. stock. And but one of the other things with that that some people don't necessarily appreciate is the back of these vans are not temperature controlled. <sighs> oh. Batteries don't like heat and the back of those vans gets hot. Yeah especially the vans that are just a box van in the back right. and the exhaust is almost touching the yeah. bo- bottom of the floor. That heat goes straight through the floor. I'm, I'm sure those floors are lined, but they're still getting extra heat yeah. from that, yeah. heat from the road, heat no from the sun. That. We don't think about this. And I don't know how long the stock is staying in the van. Yeah, if it, you know, it stays in there overnight. But, but a few days of that is yeah. not going to do the batteries any good whatsoever. You, you're going to be... Guy parks for the weekend in Sharjah in no, the sand no, pit as he's going good. to his place. No good. That. It's going to be 50 degrees in there plus. Yeah.